Every person living with diabetes has different chances of developing complications. Each individual has different genetics, lifestyle, educational attainment, and access to healthcare. Because of these differences, some people might develop complications, and some might not. Most of the time, those people who develop complications are those who are not committed on learning how to manage their condition and the complications associated with it. In this video, we will talk about the most important blood tests you must take if you have diabetes as part of managing your diabetes. When you have diabetes, you know that you have higher risk of developing retinopathy, heart disease, high blood pressure, kidney disease, nerve damage, and foot problems. These complications don't develop overnight, and you wake up one morning and voila, you already have kidney disease. Months and years before the diagnosis of kidney disease, your kidney is already suffering from damages, which worsen over time without causing any clinical symptom. And these damages could have been reversible only if you had medical laboratory tests to get the right diagnosis and treatment. So first laboratory test is glycated hemoglobin test, or HbA1c test, that indicates your average blood sugar lever over the past three months. It's better than the fasting glucose levels test, because it reflects your diabetes management in the past three months. If you have abnormal values of glycated hemoglobin, it means that your diabetes management plan is not working and you might develop complications in long term. You'll have to coordinate with your doctor and decide together what changes you have to do. You have to get your glycated hemoglobin levels tested every day three months. Next laboratory test is the lipid panel profile test that you have to monitor at least once a year because diabetic patients usually have dyslipidemia. Dyslipidemia is characterized by low HDL cholesterols and elevated LDL cholesterol. If you have too much LDL cholesterol in the blood, these circulating LDL molecules build plaque in your arteries. This condition is called atherosclerosis, which is the link between diabetes and cardiovascular diseases. High LDL also causes raise in blood pressure. High blood pressure must be treated because it can lead to life-threatening conditions, such as heart attack, kidney failure, and stroke. Lastly, you have to get your alpha-1 microglobulin and albumin levels in your urine. These are early markers of diabetic nephropathy or diabetic kidney damage. If your physician is able to identify early signs of kidney damage, you will get the right treatment to reverse it and avoid the risk of developing kidney disease, which is irreversible already reversible. These tests must be taken once a year as well. It's important to talk to your doctor or other professional before beginning any sort of supplementation or treatments. Feel free to contact us if you want us to give you the contact information of professionals who work with our network.